Thank you for being a part of our delivery team. The following video will show you the steps necessary to successfully deliver and assemble the new Reflection 7 adjustable base. Before leaving the warehouse, you will need to complete the pre-delivery checklist. To begin, lift the carton top off the box to reveal the bottom of the foundation. To avoid damage, always open the carton while the base is in a flat position. Check to make sure that all of the parts are included. One remote control and two AA batteries, four bed legs, one mattress retainer bar, two inner headboard brackets, one owner's manual, two outer headboard brackets, and a packet containing the retainer washers and bolts, and the headboard bracket washers, nuts, and bolts, one Allen wrench, and one wrench. Once the warehouse checklist is complete, place the lid back on the outer carton and secure for delivery, always keeping the foundation in a flat position during transportation. Here's a quick pre-delivery recap. Lift the carton top off the box to reveal the bottom of the foundation. Check to make sure that all of the parts are included and secure for delivery. Once you arrive at the customer's home, bring the base to the room where the base will be assembled. Lift the carton top off the box and pull back the protective film, revealing the base. Remove the mattress retainer bar from the frame. Remove the parts from the parts box and set them aside. Insert two AA batteries in the remote control. Cut the plastic strapping, holding the power cord to the frame. Here's a quick delivery recap. Lift the carton top off the box and pull back the protective film. Remove the mattress retainer bar from the frame. Remove the parts from the parts box and set them aside. Insert two AA batteries in the remote control. Cut the plastic strapping, holding the power cord to the frame. Assemble the bed legs by turning each leg in a clockwise direction into the threaded holes on the frame. Repeat for all four legs. Hand tighten the legs, being careful not to over tighten them. Carefully rotate the base frame over, so the top side is now facing upward. Be careful not to rest the frame on itself, as the weight may damage the legs. Remove and dispose of all remaining cardboard and plastic wrap. Move the base into place, and plug the power cord into a grounded electrical outlet. For optimum safety, a surge protector should be used, but is not provided. Next, you will assemble the mattress retainer bar. To do this, using the provided Allen wrench, fasten the mattress retainer bracket to the front of the bed frame using the retainer bolts and the retainer washers provided. Be sure not to over tighten. If installing a split king, repeat these steps for the second base. Here's a quick assembly and setup recap. Assemble the bed legs by turning each leg in a clockwise direction into the threaded holes on the frame. Carefully rotate the base frame over, so the top side is now facing upward. Plug the power cord into a grounded electrical outlet. Assemble the mattress retainer bar. Test all functions on the remote control to ensure all features are operational. If the remote control is not working properly, or if the customer would like to operate both bases of a split king with just one remote control, follow these steps to properly program the remote. Locate the RF box under the base. Hold down the Learn button for three seconds to initiate the RF learning mode. The LED signature light will illuminate. 
This means the RF frequency code setting function has been activated. Press any button on the remote control. When the receiver light flashes, again, press a button on the remote control. Now the RF frequency code learning process is complete. Retest all functions on the remote control to ensure all features are operational. Then return the bed to a flat or level position. Here's a quick remote control programming recap. Test all functions on the remote control to ensure all features are operational. If the remote control is not working properly, or if the customer would like to operate both bases of a split king with just one remote control, follow these steps to properly program the remote. Locate the RF box under the base. Hold down the Learn button for three seconds to initiate the RF learning mode. Press any button on the remote control. When the receiver light flashes, again, press a button on the remote control. Retest all functions on the remote control to ensure all features are operational. If the customer needs a headboard installed, follow these steps to secure the Reflection 7 adjustable base to the headboard. Begin by elevating the head of the bed so that the bed base frame is reachable. Slide the inner headboard bracket horizontally with the C opening facing down under the crossbar. Insert a headboard bolt fitted with a washer through the pre-drilled hole in the crossbar and into the pre-drilled slotted hole in the C-channel inner headboard bracket. Tighten in place with a washer and nut. Leave it loose enough for adjustment. Place the open side of the outer headboard bracket onto the exposed square tube of the inner headboard bracket to create a tight fit between the two. Insert a retainer bolt fitted with a washer into the outer headboard bracket and through the inner headboard bracket. Repeat with the second headboard bolt on the other side of the C bracket. Hand tighten using a washer and nut and the provided wrenches, but leave it loose enough for adjusting. Repeat these steps on the second base if installing a split king. Line up the outer headboard bracket to the headboard bolts on the headboard to find the proper fit. Then fully tighten the outer headboard bracket to the inner headboard bracket on the frame before securing the headboard. Securely fasten the headboard bolts to the end of the headboard bracket assembly. When the headboard brackets are assembled, make sure there is a space of one and a half to two inches between the edge of the bed base and the headboard brackets. Finally, place the mattress on the adjustable base surface. Installation is now complete. Here's a quick headboard installation recap. Secure the inner headboard bracket to the frame's crossbar. Connect the outer headboard bracket to the inner headboard bracket. Line the base's brackets up to the headboard to find the proper fit. Fully tighten the outer headboard bracket to the inner headboard bracket. Secure the base to the headboard. Finally, place the mattress on the foundation. Should you or the customer have any additional questions, please call the Sealy Customer Service Department at 1-800-499-1965. Thank you for being a part of our delivery team.